Hey guys, what's good? This is your girl Kim. Yeah, and I know it's 100 degrees outside in Branson, Missouri, and I am wearing a sweatshirt. Yes, but it's a crop top sweatshirt, so not a big deal, right? Having to be in and out, in and outside of the cold makes it easier to just wear a sweatshirt. Um, for this month's edition of the video blog, we will be looking at humanitarian work volunteerism and how we can reach out to our community if we had a sum of one thousand dollars and by community we are talking specifically about our host community here in the united states of america now remember of course that i'm jamaican and whereas i know a lot about jamaican and jamaican communities it's kind of hard to fathom what projects to do here in the united states in brent's missouri but um, over the time, I have been working with different charities. I have been scoping out like the different issues that the community face. And now I, I, as a CCI ambassador, alongside my track family and um, the CCI ambassador family, can improve the community that I live in. So in Branson, Missouri, it's known for um, its tourism and the retired veterans and stuff like that. There are a lot of that here in Branson. But most times, students are often overlooked. You have animals that are often overlooked. I mean, America is really big on protecting the animals and wildlife and stuff like that. And they're very huge on human rights and children, children rights at that. And I have noticed here in Missouri that one of the things that I would do if I had a thousand dollars was to focus mostly on student development and growth because if there is no if there's not no children to grow and to shape and mold into future leaders then we're not going to have too much of a future because we're only going to have a lot of people wasting their talents away and their time away and it's not going to be beneficial to the community nor the country at large so if I were supposed to be granted the a thousand U.S. dollars to do a community to do a community project here in Branson, Missouri. I'd have to say that I would focus mostly on youth development for those children who are um, disadvantaged. And I don't well, by disadvantaged I don't mean they have a disability or nothing like that. I mean they were robbed of the opportunity for whatever reason to benefit from all the opportunities that would have come their way um, in life. I'd probably establish like a, a roaring community center that's always active, always open, and always focused on creating productive citizens here in Branson, Missouri. And for those who have become um, the age that is legal to work, stuff like that, help to place them in jobs, help, help them to figure out their career path, and, and and I think that I would do this also because back home in Jamaica and Westmoreland, one of the things that I often do was participate in activities of the source of that catered to inner city communities around uh, the Savannah Lamar Town Center. Um, and you know, I just want to say as well that people need to understand that humanitarian work, volunteerism, is not it's not for the weak at heart. It's not for those who want to make an image for themselves. It's not for those who want to have a quick punchline or a quick, quick newspaper story for themselves. It's way much, it's much more than that. It's way bigger than you are and who you think you are. And it benefits a lot more people. And so I'm gonna encourage you guys to take the time out to evaluate if when you do something, are you doing it for the greater good of the person or the object that it's, it's directed towards? Or is it more towards what you want? You get me? But anyway, if I had $1,000, that's what I would have done here in Branson, Missouri as a community outreach project. Until next time, guys, signing out.